tail skid right here. Mm -hmm. So if we take off, somebody right. tail skids on takeoff, this will get jammed up. So you want to make sure there's a little bit of room right there okay. so that that thing doesn't accidentally jam your rudder. Nice. All right, so that's something yep. to look out for. All right, other side of the horizontal stabilizer. Again, we've got the same pins right here. Mm -hmm. You had to check the trim, so. Yep, this is, so this is the trim tab. Now the trim, so this is the control surface. The actual arm for the trim tab is on the bottom. So okay. we need to make sure that that's secure and in place. Right okay. There too. Okay. So as long as we see that the, the rivets are all, mm -hmm. and the nuts are all in, it's fine. Yep, okay. so that's fine as it is right there. We don't have to check whether it's loose or tight. So yeah, we can, well, we can't really check. We're, we're not out here to check, okay. but you see that cotter wire right there? Yep. That's stopping that from coming loose. Oh, okay. Right, so as long as that's in place, we're fine. So we just have good faith that the mechanics has done Yep. Job. Well, okay. I mean, it's, so that's just in design and physics. This bolt cannot come out okay. and let, if that cotter wire is in place. Okay. So as long as that cotter wire is there, we're fine. We're just looking to make sure that that's secure. All right, okay. Tight. So the leading edge of all of our uh, control surfaces, we want to make sure they're not mm -hmm. dinged or dented or anything. Okay. Um, also, what we're looking for, um, if we were out here a couple days ago, is ice. Yeah. If we had any ice form up on here, because remember okay. that disturbs your airflow, adds weight to the aircraft, adds drag, yep. which is all bad news for us. So okay. we're looking for those leading edges, right. the leading edge of your vertical stable. Okay. Navigation and communication antenna, so you've got two back there, yep. one right here. You've got one big one on the bottom right here. Okay. See that little one right there in the front? That's also mm -hmm. for your transponder, so you need that one right there. And then we've got these two right at, uh, top. at the top. All right, so we'll okay. to make sure those are all in place. Oh, okay. All right, so now we get to the right wing. So we have flaps on each side, mm -hmm. right? Um, something we need to do, come back around to your cockpit. So you can do this before you start walking around. We need to drop the flaps to make sure that they're... These are electronic flaps, right? Yep, they're electronic flaps. Okay. So reach in there. Here, actually, just watch me. Um, So just reach in here, right here, to the raster switch, and we turn it on. And then we reach oh, all the way over here and push the flaps all the way down. And then we wait for them to move. So this is what we've selected, and that's their actual position. Yep. Once they're down, we can turn off the master switch. Okay. All right, watch your head, watch your head. Here you go. Yep. All right, back around to the right wing. Okay. Oh, something just came up right here. Oh. I'm gonna try this. Is there a specific way to tie this? Um, Oh. There's, I mean, there's different methods of it. Um, I'll show you my preferred method when we tie them down. Okay. It, it's pretty simple, and it's tried and true. I've never had an issue with it. All right. So what we're looking for right here, there's going to be a little bit of play in it like that, mm -hmm. which is normal. But what we're really looking for is the control rod right there. Yep. We'll make sure that's in place. Come around under here. We're looking at these tracks right here. This is mm -hmm. what they actually roll on. So you can see you've got the track. We want to make sure it's clean and clear. And then you have the balls right there that runs on the track. Right. You want to make sure those are okay. Okay. Same thing for this one right there. There's mm -hmm. going to be a little play, which is normal. Okay. So we'll leave that as is. Okay. Then right here, aileron. Remember, they're both they're yep. opposing. So that's going to give you a right turn. Right. Yeah. That's going to give you a left turn. Yep. Right? Think of it as... Decreasing lift, increasing lift. So whatever one you're decreasing lift, the wing's gonna drop down. Mm -hmm. Push it up and come inside here. Again, this one has two, three hinges, actually. It's got three hinges that we're just looking for. You wanna make sure they're all in place and fine. This is the control rod right here. Okay. All right, so we're looking for hinges and control rod. Okay. The wing tip, slightly bent on the, fat, on the um, outside, which is fine. Yep. This is for wing tip board seat. Yep. Anti-collision lights, those are the ones that flash really bright. And mm -hmm. then this is your navigation light. We mm -hmm. have red, or sorry, green, uh, green and red. red. Yep. All right, so now we're looking at the leading edge. Again, just okay. like we were on the other control surfaces, we're, we're looking to make sure that there's no abnormal dents or dings. Rivets are in place. Um, they're clear of ice or whatever. So that looks fine. So if it's a dent, it has to be a significant dent or? Yeah, it's got, okay, so like, I wouldn't worry about that. It's barely okay. noticeable. Okay. Um, but if it's something like uh, somebody hit a bird and they didn't realize it, we okay. should be we should be a little concerned about that. All right. Um, so I wouldn't say that's going to affect the performance of the aircraft. <laughs> it's so minute and small. Okay. So we'll go and untie this. And this is called the white uh, the right wing strut. Yep. All right. 
So that's how you know it's a Cessna 172. They've all got the high wings with the wing strut. Mm -hmm. um, and across right here, we've got... Stall warning? Uh, no, this is actually air intake. Oh, okay. Yep, air intake. So we're going to do a couple things here now okay. that we have um, that we can look at the fuel. Let me get my... So we're going to do a couple things. First, okay. I'm going to test to see if there's water. Okay. okay. So right here, you take the little pin. Yep. Here, I'll let you do this, actually. Okay. And push it up. There you go. And we want to get about an inch of, of fuel in there. So up to this line? Yes. That's about it. Yeah, that's good. So this is this is placed here because it's the lowest point in the fuel tank. Okay. So any yeah. water that's in the tank we'll is going to down. settle right here, and yep. it's going to show up right here. So what we do is we take it to a white surface, mm -hmm. and we're checking to make sure it's going to look like oil and water if, there, if there's any water in here. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all blue. So we use Avgas 100 low lead, w which yep. is the blue tint. So we're looking mm -hmm. for blue tint, um, no particulates, so it looks clean, and no water. Okay. So those are the three things we're checking for okay. in the fuel. Come up on top of the wing. To climb up here, just put your right leg right there. Mm -hmm. Hold on right here. Okay. You want to make sure you're keeping your feet on these pads right here okay. so we're not stepping anything up. And it's just a regular fuel pad. You just turn it 90 okay. degrees. And you take it like a shot, put your put it in, hold your finger, pull it up. So we had 19 gallons and I can also see right here that it's completely full. So it has to be right to the brim? Uh yeah for for full it does. Okay. So there's yeah, that fuel tank or that fuel cap right there. Okay. Yeah, one more question for this. If you talk about particulates, right? Mm -hmm. As long as it's like sand like particulates, then we gotta reject. Um, so if there's if there's a lot of particulates in it, then mm -hmm. we've got to worry about um, is the fuel filter maybe not working? Okay. Is so that's where we get our fuel from right there. Okay. So is that the filter in that tank not working? Okay. Because you you can't always trust that the fuel you're getting out of you know those trucks or these mm -hmm. are completely clean and pure. Okay. Um, they could be in an instance where they didn't um, clean it out the proper way in the morning, so there's water, okay. or they're not maintaining their filter, so there's okay. sediment in it. So those are things we're checking for okay. to make sure that we're going to be safe. We're not relying just on their mm -hmm. safety practices. So if we find anything, then do we take a second cup or um, we if call we find, for a review? If, if we find anything, take some more. Mm -hmm. And if we're still finding stuff, then you need to call maintenance. Okay. Uh, right. And I'll show you where all those numbers are. Okay. Sure. All right. So while we're still here, mm -hmm. we've got a wheel and the brake to look at. Yep. All right. So these aren't like your normal, uh, they're not like your normal car tires. But they've got a tube inside of them. So this is like, so you've got the outside rubber tire and then you've got the inside air um, inflated uh, tube. Okay. So what we're looking for on the outside is that we don't have any bald spots, meaning flat spots. And to have it worn down is fine, but we don't want to start seeing cord lines. So like yeah. white lines inside where the you start seeing right. the the parts of the wheel, yeah. that's not good. Okay. So we're looking for the general safety and uh, health of the uh, of the tire. We're also looking right here at the brake pad, mm -hmm. all right? Um, brake pads are located right here, one on each side. That's your disc. Yep. We're looking to make sure that you have about at least, you know, like a nickel, and okay. how, um, how thick a nickel is. Yep. We're looking to make sure you at least have a nickel's thickness on each side right there. Okay. So this right here is the hydraulic brake line, mm -hmm. all right? So they're, um, they're connected to our rudder yep. pedals. Um, hydraulically actuate the brake pads right there. So we're okay. looking for a couple things. Right here, we want to make sure that there's no puddling of hydraulic fluid. Yep. So it looks clean, yep. so we're fine right there. We want to make sure that nothing looks out of normal. Okay. Up right there is in place. Again, so you got another one of those cotter pins right there. Mm -hmm. So this is this is like your, I guess your hub nut for the, yeah. for the tire. So you got to take that off to take the tire off. That's going to be tightened in place as long as that cotter pin's in place right there. That can't loosen if that pin's in place. Okay. Do we have to remove the choke? Or yep. we remove it so here? you can leave the back one in place. Just take the front one and slide it to oh. the side just like that okay. as we're rolling forward. All right. A couple things in the nose of your plane. Yep. We're looking for cleanliness mm -hmm. um, of our windscreen. So think about when we're out flying, we're trying to find traffic, mm -hmm. and we've, if we've got a bunch of bugs or yeah. splatter on our um, windscreen, it's like infinitely more difficult. Okay. This one actually had a crack in it, yep. and they repaired it. Instead yep. of replacing the whole windscreen, they just um, did some basically stitching, yep. and then sealed it up. So windscreen's clean and fine. 
right there. Thank so you all you got to do is go and just push that in to open it up. And then this is where we're going to check the oil. All right, we're going to do a couple things here. First, we can check the oil. So this one's got a mem uh, for you to remember, add mm -hmm. below 5.5 quarts. So we just unscrew it, pull it out. So it's right there. There's five. There's seven. Mm -hmm. So it's right at six quarts right there at that line. Okay. So we're good to go with uh, with oil. So we'll just put that back in. You don't want to have it. You want to have it tight, firm, but you don't want to have it too tight. Cause remember, this gets hot and all the oh, metal expands. Right. So you just want to have it, you know, hand tight, tight to the turn. Okay. Okay. Just hand tightened. You don't have to overdo yourself. Okay. Another thing we have right here, fuel strainer drain. Yep. So what this does, it's that's the lowest point for the for the strainer. Okay. And it's gonna if we pull that up, it's gonna flow out right there. Okay. We just want to flow it out for about four seconds to empty the strainer. Okay. So, so this fuel from here, right? So that's the lowest point of the tank. Yeah. We have one more over there, lowest okay. point of the tank. And this is the lowest point of the system right there. Okay. Okay. So we just push it. And you pull it. Actually. I'll pull you it. Go I'll ahead and try it. Okay. Yep, that's it. So we just want to make sure that's clean and clear. So we'll take our stuff with us. So a couple things Pro. in the front. Now we've got the propeller. Yep. So this is a fixed pitch propeller. Yep. Uh, you know the have you? I guess you're familiar with the differences yep. already. I've done a lot of ground study. So fixed pitch. So what we're looking for is to make sure that the leading edge there's no significant mix. Mm -hmm. It's going like put your hand on there. It's going to be a little bit rough. Oh, yeah. But we're looking to make sure that we don't have any mix. Yeah. Um, same thing for the side. We're looking to make sure that the spinner's in place. Do you have to check the trailing edge or? Yeah, you should can. Be quite... There's, it's going to be clean. Okay. On the back side, so it's black because, from what I've been told, if you have the sun behind you and you're flying, oh, okay. it's going to cause a huge glare. So they paint it black. I see. Um, so you don't have any reflection. On the inside, our two cowling openings. Yep. So whenever we're around the propeller, we don't want to have you know your head in here or anything like that. Yeah. Um, the magnetos are turned off, mm -hmm. so we can't get a spark. Okay. Um, but remember, these are aircraft engines. We could feasibly, you know, start yeah. them by hand turning them. So we don't want to put ourselves in a position that if this thing started, we, we're losing a major mm -hmm. limb. True. What we're looking for right here in this cowling, this is your alternator. Okay. All right. Um, do you know, do you yep. know what an alternator is? It produces electricity, right? Exactly. So here's the alternator belt. Okay. Um, connected to the uh, to the shaft. This is your flywheel for starting. Mm-hmm. So we're looking to make sure that's in general health. You're also making sure nothing is blocking this area. Because look, these are like basically huge heat sinks. Mm -hmm. yep. um, that's how the engine cools. So okay. air's moving over those heat sinks and it's going out the end much okay. hotter than it came in. All right, so on this side right here, here's where you actually have the starter. Your starter, starter cable's right there. More heat sinks for the uh, yep. for cooling. So all this just has to be in place and... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Right. Yep, and we're making sure that it's clear. Remember, these are air-cooled engines, okay. so they rely on clear airflow. Okay. There. Landing light and taxi light. Uh, okay. Engine exhaust. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure. Usually, if this plane just flew, it's going to be really hot. You don't okay. want to touch it. Yep. If it's cool, give it a little shake. Make sure it's in place. Okay. Um, air intake. Again, this is oh. how the engine's breathing. Okay. So we want to make sure that's clean, uh, clean and clear as well. And then front tire. Yep. So we're looking for the same general health as we did on the other tires, where mm -hmm. there's no flat spots, um, there's no cord showing. Okay. This is also the strut. Yep. It's an air pressurized strut. Yep. For a good rule of thumb, we want to make sure we have about two inches. Mm -hmm. Just take three fingers right here and make sure you have at least that much, okay. um, that much shaft showing. Now sometimes, so you know how that tail's tied down, mm -hmm. it's lifted it up a little bit when we start the airplane. Or just push it It'll down. Lean yeah. So like okay. push it, push it down to make sure that's exactly where it is. Okay. So that one's fine just as is right there. So that means after we untie the tail hook and then we try to push it down and mm -hmm. just have a look. Yeah, so okay. remember we're doing this all in a flow. So we, yeah. uh, we had already untied yeah. that, um, the tail. Okay. So we just want to make sure that that, uh, that struts in good health. In okay. So coming back to this side, more cabin air. Okay. Important part right here. This is your static, static port. Yeah. All right. So we're making sure that's clean. Okay. Clean as in, is it this hole here? Yep. Or? We're just making sure there's no obstructions front or back and okay. then the uh, port's clear. Again, same practice for getting up here. So we're going to do a couple things. Just take your dipstick like a straw. Okay. 19 gallons, we're good to go. Are we supposed to have 19 or 20 in each thing? Um, as 20 long. gallons is full. So okay. pop up there. 
you can go and take a look. So you're going to see, so you see the fuel cap? Yep. You see that placard right there that tells yep. you, it tells you the fuel type and it tells you how much you can put in there. Uh -huh. Now go ahead and open it up. You just turn it left 90 degrees and pull it up. Yep. Yep. So that's it. Okay. Yep. And then just turn it back like that. Just make yep. sure it's streamlined so you're going to go yep, all the way to the right. And then back. Right. So, like I said, have air. Mm -hmm. Checking the leading edge again. Mm -hmm. Pedo tube. Okay. So all we're doing right here is go and take that off. Yep. So we got it. We just got it covered like that. So the pedo tube is heated. That's why it's this metal aluminum. Okay. Uh, we have a pedo heat switch in there uh, for like uh, freezing conditions, visible moisture. That way the scene doesn't ice up. This okay. is what our um, how we determine airspeed. Yep. So if we're looking to make sure that's clear. Also, you want to come back here. There's a little drain okay. right there. We're yep. making sure that's clear as well. Okay. okay. This right here is the fuel vent, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, just like an enclosed area, if we're going to take fuel out, we've got to replace it with air. Okay. So this is where that air comes from. So there's only one on the left wing? Yep, is there only one? one on the left wing. And there's a, um, the two wings are connected. Mm -hmm. uh, through a, a small line in the top, so the right one can vent from that. Okay. And there's actually... So some planes you'll come across in mm -hmm. your private days will... Some will have a vent on one side and a vented cap on the other. Okay. Um, and, the, and a vented cap will operate the same way. Um, it just will let air in only. Okay. So it's positioned behind the strut. Mm -hmm so that it decreases the likelihood of foreign object debris flying into it. I see. All right, so okay. that's why it's positioned right there. Untie that. Okay. warning indicator oh, okay right there so see, it's recessed so you can't see it we're, we're making sure that that Nothing's opening is clear oh, okay. all right right so coming through more than leading edge mm -hmm. so navigation light slight any collision light it should be okay right yep that's yeah. been there for a long okay. time that's very small fairly noticeable okay. Okay. Left tailor off again. Come around here. Three hinges. You're, you're looking for the hinges and the control rod okay yep and then your left the flaps. It's the same thing. Yep, just making sure it's clear. Two, one, and two. Yep. All right. All right. And then right here, so we'll do the feel for this okay. uh, for this wing now. Do we have the party surface or? Um, you can just keep adding to it. That's fine. Okay. Now, if you found contaminants or you found water, yeah, throw it out and start new. Okay. Push it up more. Yep. There you go. Get a quicker flow through it. That's good. Wow, it's leaking. Yeah, hold it up. Try holding it up here. Oh. There you go. All right, so hold it against the white. Again, we're looking for no contaminants, mm -hmm. no water, and it's blue, so we're okay. fine. All right, so depending on what state you're in, there's actually laws as to where you can throw this out. Yep. Um, I typically, if it's clean fuel, will put it back because we're paying what six dollars a gallon right now. Oh, okay. So, look pretty new actually. Yeah. No hydraulic fluids puddling so the brakes yep. hydraulic lines are fine. Okay. Watch it. Oops. <laughs> right. So we're gonna put these away in the back of the plane. Okay. 